Hey guys, it's Tashi from Art Song and Soul, and I am going to zoom through this video because I um, haven't got much battery left, and um, I just want to get this done so I can upload it. Package these little goodies up and send them off to um, a very new friend of mine. Um, I've been on a little bit of a journal making craze, and um, I made one recently for my sister. She's going to Bali. So I made one up for her and um, one of her friends wanted a couple for her daughter so I've just been trying to get these done and I just want to get these sent off to her really quickly. So um, the f these measure um, 10 and a half centimetres by 15 centimetres. So that's I think that's 4 by 6 inches I think. Um, the papers that I've used for this first one um, are this um, basic grey little black dress and I love it it's an older thing but I just love some of the patterns in there um, I've nearly used it all up and um, on the weekend I went to Spotlight Kiwi ladies um, if you've got a Spotlight near you go down and get these these 12 by 12 Kaisercraft um, paper pads have got something crazy like $16 off or something. No, they're $16 and they're, it's $11 off. I just got this one. It's the um, Timeless Classics and it's so cool. I wished I'd gotten um, I wished I'd gotten an, another couple of them. I might pop back and see them, but um, definitely go out, go down and check out that bargain. It's, it's a great paper pack, I reckon. Anyway, so I've used that and some various other paper packs. I think I've got some My Mind's Eyes and um, my mind's my my mind's eye. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly flip through here. I've just got tags that I made, some little graphic 45 elements. I've kind of kept this one sort of um, you know neutral colours with black and red. I love this paper. So I just cut, cut them all to. And I've just used um, different um, scrap bits of paper there. I've got like ledger paper you'll recognize this from graphic 45 and I've just um, these are those words from Tim Holtz and I've just dotted them throughout the, the um, book so I'm just going to quickly flip through them um, I don't think um, the person who's going to receive these journals I don't think they're scrapbookers or anything so I thought I might make a video just so they can see that they can slide stuff under there or um, adhere a photo there's room for journaling here and you can add journaling on these tickets or add stuff that you've that you collect some little tags these are all out of that case of craft um, I just cut these out as little tags so here's a little graphic 45 tag and it just slips into this pocket and as you guys know just making these journals are quick and easy you just cut all your paper up I've just done a little slip there and put that in so yeah, all these lift up for you to slip something underneath, whether it be a photo or some little tag or something that you've collected. This has got a little tag in it there. Flips up. Journaling spots. I love this paper. It is yum. I just sprayed this with Lindy's this envelope. Just a couple of extra tags in there. Oh yeah, this is my mind's eye paper. I just adhered some little bits, scrap bits here and there just for some interest. Um, here's some paper to journal on. I think this is um yeah bridge school paper. Another little tag there. These are just scraps. So yeah, more journaling. And I'm going so fast, guys. But you guys know how to make these books. I just wanted to make a video. I haven't done one for a while, and I just wanted to get this done so I could send this off. I love this is my ultimate favorite paper out of this little black dress basic grey um, paper stack. Some more journaling space here, some more, some graphic 45, a little timepiece here, sit here down, you can slip stuff underneath that. This page flips out, here's a little metal element. I bought these huge earrings and they were like $2 from the, from the $2 shop, but each earring had about 20 of these little metal hearts, so I thought, like, come on, I'll use those and everything until they run out. Just some tags, different tags here. Love this plaid. So yeah, that's that book guys. 
Um, I think this lady is going to give these to her daughters, so that will be nice. Because that's one journal, and um, just on the cover here, I've just um, adhered one of those metal hearts. I've just made a charm with a few various things, a shoe, a butterfly, a key, just tie some lace. Um, you know, they on these journals I've kind of kept them embellishing to, uh, you know, limited just because, you know, I don't want stuff falling off all over the place. So this is one journal, and my next journal here, I've used, um, again, I've used that Kaiser Craft um, paper and... I think I've used um, My Mind's Eye and oh, a few just various papers actually, a mishmash, but um, predominantly I've used this Bow Bunny Serenity collection. It's an old, it's an old paper stack as well, but oh, I just love it. It's what I used for my sister's um, journal. She's going to Bali, so I thought I'd make her a nice journal so she could fill it up with all the awesome stuff that she gets up to over there. And, she always finds these are most amazing quotes and all this kind of stuff, so I thought she could fill her little journal up with stuff like that. So these uh, papers are gorge. I just love the colours, just the splash of red is it's right up my alley. Anyway, so I've just made, this is a bit more of an eclectic book. And so I've just collaged the front, I love to collage. Made a little charm, that's another one of those little metal hearts. And I just put some blue lace there just to bring the blue out. And I've just gone ahead and done the exact same thing. Tags, tickets. This is actually out of an old vintage um, book about moths and butterflies. I've used nearly all of them up. It was a whole huge book full of them and I kind of try and put them on all my projects. This is just some, I think that's Kaisercraft die cuts. Oh, you guys will recognise um, that's from Mariposa. Just some cutouts. That's my mind's eye. So just done basically the same thing. Some tags, room for journaling, journaling. Just go ahead and stick your, um, adhere your photos down. Tags, journal on the back of the tags. Whatever you want to do, just you can slip stuff under there. Great room for, um, you know, sticking um, little bits and pieces that you find and photos. There's a few quotes among here. And again, I've stuck, um, I've sort of dotted all around the book. Um, those are all Tim Holtz words. Here's some more tags. I've just collaged a lot of stuff. I love this page. I love it. I want to eat it. <laughs> um, I think those might be graphic 45 tags and I think I got them from Jude. Just just whatever. That's what I love about these journals. They're just... Uh, here's another one of those moths from my special book. Oh, I don't know what's happening here. Just some more paper. Oh, there's some Tim Holtz paper. Yeah, some more die cuts from um, Kaisercraft. Nice big space there to um, put some photos or whatever you want to put there. My details on the back. So, that is that, guys. I know that was a bit of a zoom through, but um, um, that is just a quick look at what I've been up to lately. And um, I've got some more projects that I've been um, doing. I just haven't had a chance to. Um, make a video and um, I hope to have those um, uploaded for you soon so check out my blog, blog for um, photos and my Facebook I'll put all the details down below and um, these are going off to a lovely lady and um, I hope that she loves them as much as I loved making them thanks guys thanks for watching uh, Song and Soul all day, every day